it was like a Friday afternoon. Um, we were still like mid semester and I think our president sent out an email and it was literally like something out of a movie because everyone was like looking at each other and did you see the email and everyone was talking about it. Everyone had to move out. But if I can speak for on behalf of other South African students that are here at Queens, I know many of them can't even return home. I don't really have family in the US. In my case, I don't know where to go, honestly. People then started leaving. It got kind of sad because um, some people thought they would come back for graduation. I don't think that this is going to take place. I think things are going to take much longer. I couldn't believe that it actually happened. And I couldn't believe that all well, the people are going somewhere. When then my flights were canceled, I actually realized that, yeah, it's happening. My country had a lockdown before the United States had a lockdown. I couldn't go back home because like the other end was closed. Of course, it's a little bit strange. Um, I'm used to having a lot of people around. Uh, it's, I'm used to it being a little bit noisy. One of my friends um, that I was in close contact with on campus showed slight symptoms. So there was a stage about two and a half to three weeks ago where I was in my room um, all by myself for six days. They brought the food to the outside of my door. I wasn't allowed to leave my door. If you walk on Main Street on some nights, it's like literally like a like a war zone zone without destruction because there isn't anyone on the street and everyone's staying home. Um, the only thing that is different is that you don't there is no there isn't like bullets flying over your head. I think South Africa is actually faring pretty well. If you just look at it, they really managed to flatten the curve. The part that makes it really hard is the people that are really living in the rural areas, um, that are really living on top of each other, even before Corona, living in circumstances where they couldn't even fare to get a meal necessarily on their plate every evening. Because you've seen worse, you know how to deal with what you have. No, uh, I always say that it's times like these that you realize that people are generally kind. You know, people are being just texting, hey, how are you doing? Do you need anything? We can bring home cooked meals for you if you want. I really hope that something out of this whole COVID-19, um, what it brings out of society and a community in general, is to really enjoy more of those little things and the smaller things and not to take them for granted.